Sonic Zuppy has like no horizontal movement. So if you uh, if you wall jump and you don't like up B fast enough sometimes or have a double jump, you can actually put yourself so far that the up B can't get it. Yo! Hi James. Hi Brent. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw this match. It was alright. Your cat's up there. Your cat's watching. You better get my cat back. I think they might take it. They better not take it. I don't know. No one's claimed it, so. It's my lucky cat. We got Indy on winners. Indy going with the Ivy Sword. Ivy, I've never seen this before. Going with the strong PM character. Knock a proven is Kirby's worth today going in. Yeah, he's doing pretty well today. I'm not sure if um, Captain Falcon has a bad matchup against Kirby. Nah, I'm pretty sure he's just going Ivy. He has a little bit of leeway being on winners. I've definitely seen him use Ivy before. <coughs> I've never seen him use anybody else in tournament though. I feel, like, I feel like he uses Ivy in early games. I guess why not? Oh, the jabs. I've never seen SDI like this. He might need to get out of that. Yeah, he might, he might not want to get hit by that. <laughs> yeah, one thing that's pretty good against Kirby, Kirby doesn't have really good dish joints, just uh, solid Priority and lasting hitboxes, space with back air, pretty much hit Kirby. It's hard. Kirby's not really the best weight for Ivy to to combo. So we're gonna see a lot of, again, we're gonna see a lot of like footsie play, some stuff like that, and so a lot of repetitive edge guarding. They can both play pretty much the same game at the ledge with uh, throwing out back airs. The problem is that uh, with the new tether mechanics, I think Kirby may have the edge when edge guarding Ivy compared to Ivy versus Kirby. He's been going for that, finally gets it. I completely forgot uh, that that gives you an entire solar <laughs> beam for some reason. You better not. You better not do it. Oh. Aw oh, man, reminded me of Sweet. <laughs> sweet, that one's for you. I haven't seen anyone miss solar beam quite like that since Smash Famous Sweet. Oh wait, no, he landed that one. That one against Naka. I remember that. Okay, hits him with the actual sweet spot. Ducking under the razor leaf. Uh, this is gonna be tough. Right, Tether, not that long. Yeah, that ain't the same as. Yeah, sweet only lands. Uh, he only lands solar beam when he shouldn't. He only lands it when it's like game breaking. I think uh, Indy wants to go for the uh, solar on this one. He, he seemed like, like he, for it. he seemed like he was really trying to fish for it though. I don't know. Oh, I knew um, it! I knew it! Yeah, you could you could tell you could tell by the way he started being a little bit more aggressive. Yep. There we go. They say that it only hit works him with on the 40i, but I don't know. My mind's starting to change. Hit him with the weak hitbox. Nah, there's no, there's no, there, I w there are weak hitboxes now. Well, that one was the weakest. Nah, that was just, that was the normal sweet spot. Tether doing good. Tether didn't work. Mm. Knock and knock. Uh, Let's see if he capitalizes hard on the tether. Oh, I won't make it. We got counter picks and then Yoshi's. Pretty sure Naka absolutely hates that stage. I took him to it and he didn't seem too happy about it. We got down throw. The only thing I don't see Naka doing is dash attack. I feel like it's pretty good against any character really. It lasts pretty long too. It is pretty good. I think dash attack is a pretty good option to cover. Like if you're if you're slow, 
with the uh, the tech chase, and you didn't quite get there. And then uh, the last the last frames are the ones that you want to go for because you want to land as uh, late to when the move ends as yeah. possible. Doing things like up tilt. Oh boy. Okay. I had no idea Indy was an Ivy main. You're charging that solar beam. Killing up too much damage, that's not gonna do too much at 122. You gotta be careful about that F-Smash. He's going in a little bit. We got an air, let's see if he makes it back. You got this. Oh, uh, you punished. were right about um, the, the ledge being better for Kirby. Gets punished for the, the new tether mechanics. Yeah. Stuck in that 80 oh, frames. Uh, I'm not understanding. All right, why? Looking, why? whatever. And now he's looking We're like he's looking like sweet now. <laughs> really turning into a spacing war. There's really not many combos. Just kind of taking advantage of whenever they get uh. They get their opponent above them, just space aerial safely. Try and punish. Yeah, you see uh, Indy Weave in there at the ledge trying to bait out something from Kirby. Uh, with, uh, He's in there. He's got to avoid the uh, back air. He gets a reverse hit box, grabs the other ledge. Not oh the ledge, boy. Not the ledge he was looking for, but he finds the strong sweet spot, and that'll be uh, putting Indy up two stocks. No, that's mm. not what he wanted. Where's the tech? Still up a strong... Strong one stock. Yeah, I feel like if he keeps playing the way he is, I don't think he should have any problem winning I don't know, it's looking like Puff right now, the way Knock is walking into the ledge. I'm calling an end in the solar beam. He wants it, I know. I don't know, but is he going to pull the sweep? He wants it. He wants it. He wants it. He's looking for it. You can see it. You can see the hunger in his eyes. You see the hunger in his controller. I've never seen hunger like this. I knew oh! it! Oh shit! Oh shit! The, the soul would be in the end it. Knew we were fishing for it and we've seen it in his eyes. Saw it in his controller. I saw it in Lucky Cat. Let's see where the reverse counter picks can go. Oh, he goes to the dream. He goes to the Kirby's home stage. Okay, Kurt, we see Kirby's empowered by the music. But <laughs> okay, we got, we got perfect shields. We got dash stacks. And he's having a hard time getting in. He's throwing out projectiles, but seeming very yeah, he's struggling very effective. The, getting in a neutral game. There you go. You could get him in a good position. Oh, okay, another perfect shield! Maga's just doing really good of keeping positional pressure on him. Staying underneath him and keeping good advantage. Keeping good stage advantage. Not letting Indy do what he wants to do. Making him feel oh, there like... We go. Making him feel like he's pressured into throwing out moves or in danger. Hmm, I kind of expected down bees there. Across that back air. Let's see. Ooh, misses. I almost thought he was underneath the stage. I was scared. I really don't know, understand why he's not using uh, uh, down B that much. I feel like it would keep him. Uh, Is Ivy? Yeah. Eh. I mean, it there's depends in certain situations. I really don't feel like he'd be losing anything by doing that. It would just give Naka more pressure. It can. Uh, on this stage, because of the height that down B goes, the C bombs, they'll pretty much always land on the platforms. So as long as you're under the platforms, you're pretty much safe. Oh, oh my, my god, hit him with the sweet. Hit him with the sweet, it doesn't kill, but... There it nope. there, was, there was a delayed kill, it was super effective. We didn't know that Kirby was paralyzed. He went off stage. He didn't realize he couldn't move. He was in hit stun. 
I've never seen hit stun that long. He he run on the ledge and then died. The hit stun's real. Alright, we got four dares. Definitely Indy got a lot of momentum off of just off of that. Just yeah. a big morale boost. Sometimes that's all you need. Even if things don't kill, just landing landing things that feel good can be enough to turn the tides of the match. Ooh, goes for the side B. Oh wow. Hits him with the with the late late. Ooh boy. Hits him again, let's see. Kirby float back. Ah, oh, all Hors he needed was one more. Horizontal cutter in the up air. Up air ain't killing though, this is Dreamland. And he's still looking in good shape though. Just knock his counter pick. That Tez is gonna reach. Knock his counter and pick. He's living. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're playing volleyball here. Uh, Kirby's playing volleyball by himself. Kirby is the volleyball. It's his revenge. Well, that down air really looked like it hit. It was a glancing blow. Maga just moving all around him. Down throws. Persistent to get that tech in place, not expecting a tech in a direction. Let's see, back here won't do to 139. As long as Kirby has all of his jumps, I don't know when will back I don't know when backer will take it. Back throw won't do it either, kill throw. Hmm. What was that for you? Oh, Kirby living all the, the way down. Kirby living the 170. Counter pick finally starting to pay off for Naka. There we Ooh, go. Eats the eats the back air, not what he wanted to take at 170. Soul beam charge and ready to go. Oh, he had the down smash on the platform. There's nowhere you could tech. Oh my god. Okay, we got up airs. And he really needs to play patient here. He can't do anything rash. Aha, uh -huh, no! Tether goes far, but it don't go that far. I don't know, it looked like it should have grabbed to me. It's probably the music that made it, uh, made it not grab the ledge. That's what Strong Bad would say. <laughs> I see a lot of instances where Ivy's tether just doesn't grab the ledge. It won't even be a situation where something's in the way, or distance wise. Or even like underneath the stage, it'll just clearly not hit. The sweet spot will go into the ledge, which is easily within distance for it and nothing. But uh, we got Naka getting in that work right now, just walking this man across Yoshi's. Small platforms across oh the ground, allowing Kirby to tech chase for days. There yep. we go. It doesn't kill though. It's and surprising. even now, it does not kill. Thank God, it's 67. We got some type of jazzy music going on. Sounds like some Katamari uh, nonsense. Hmm. Okay, we'll take it at 106. We got back airs. See if Indy can make use of this uh, smaller stage and kill Kirby earlier. Still won't kill at 96. Back air is a pretty good move, but it is not extremely strong. Really good gimp option. Hard to hard to gimp Kirby with so many jumps. Unless there you go. Uh, being uncareful. He's and going for the okay. JB. Yeah, he is trying to go for that JB4. Oh no, he's racking up too much damage. <laughs> I don't know if he'll. I've never seen finish. jab like that in my life. Oh, nice. Oh, does not tech, but... Oh, I thought I thought the forward air was the tether and it didn't grab the ledge, I was about to say. 
Oh Holy man. He tried going for that deep. That deep, was, deep. I mean, it was either that or get hit with the back air. Sometimes you gotta take a risk. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's another risk right there. I'm unsure of this music. <laughs> I'm kind of digging it. I can't completely hear it in my headphones, but it sounds kind of jazzy. He's living. Oh, he's ah, still going, living. Going deep, but he's still living. What is this? This oh, is what the, the what just happened? Hmm. This is not the Yoshi's that I know. No, oh what? Oh, oh. No, no. He right, wouldn't do that. Indy, Indy, I can't tell if Indy mashed out very. He just got out because he was a low percent. But please, no. Wow, he's living. He's really living. He's advanced living. Remember the good old days when that was a kill move. When that was a kill move. <laughs> he's still living. Let's see it one more time. Ah, eating the down smash. Not what he wants. Not what he wants. He's still living. He's, he's still living. Tether reach. Tether reach. Yep. He's oh, still here we living. Go. We, we've seen this before. We've seen this. Oh my god. The tether. Oh, damn. That's the same tether that doesn't grab the ledge sometimes. Oh, he kills I... him with the down there off the top. He heals back some percent. Things are looking grim for, for mm. our boy Indy. Is that a reset? Yes, it is. That is the bracket reset. Alright, Indy just gotta pull it through here. Uh, I'm really surprised we haven't seen Falcon yet. He's really trying to trying to push it out. I mean, that makes me proud. It makes me proud too. The same instance just happened. Yep. I believe like four or five times. Not sure what was happening, but I think I don't really know. Looked like Ivy's down there just getting beat out her trade with uh, Kirby's up there. The problem is right now is that as soon as Ivy gets off stage, Naka is coming at him with back airs, and that's that's enough to take anybody off for the since stock. I, since Ivy has absolutely no uppy other than the tether. Ivy's forced to go into the same exact drop zone area in order to recover. And that means that Nocking can just grab ledge and then fastball from ledge back air and cover actually every option. I mean, you've seen that. He, we went from one side to the other on Dreamland continuously. Yeah, Ivy doesn't have the mix-ups that uh, the luxury that other characters have where they can either go high or... Even characters like Sheik can either go high or go to the ledge, but Ivy's always stuck with the tether unless you're high enough to stall out with down air. Ah, uh, see it's yeah, always see? the back air. As soon as he goes off stage, that's that's that will be the end of it. He has to just know when the back air is gonna come. It's the only way to beat it I think. There we go. <coughs> Solid back airs. Not letting Kirby get back. Just bear till he doesn't have any more jumps. It's a pretty good match so far. Pretty uh very even. Pretty even. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, we got a uh, razor leaf in the grab. Remember when that used to be uh guaranteed in guaranteed. good old 2.6 days? Rest in peace. That's him with a fastball back when that knocker comes back. Not where Indy wants to be. He does not mm. want to be by that ledge. Huh. Tries to DI in, forward throw. Sets up for up air. Take that stock. Oh, I just missed it. So close. If he didn't short hop, he might have actually had that. Nice back airs. Oh, wow. Going in. See if we get another one. Yep. There we go. I don't think Kirby can do much about that. No, still coming. I think he just grabbed the ledge. Grab the ledge. Doesn't even need it. Kirby's a floaty dude. I think he just tried to neutral B? Huh? I think Naka just went for a neutral B. Yeah, he did. I'm pretty sure he didn't think he was getting back. 
So he just kind of... Hmm. We got tech chases. Not even tech chases, really. Kirby speed isn't necessarily fast enough to, to really be a do tech chase. Yeah, it's it's pretty much has to be a read. He moved before before uh, Indy even shows a direction. Comes down with the down Oh, air. boy. Oh. I'm seeing He's the solar. I'm seeing the solar. I'm calling it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, landing the solar beam intentionally as designed. Unlike other Ivysaurs that I've seen play. Oh, we got we got Naka going to Yoshi's now. This was originally Indy's counter pick in the first set, but I guess he felt more comfortable doing it. Yeah, uh, going as, back. You, as you can see, I mean, Kirby may do really good with large blast zones, but Kirby also doesn't have too many extreme kill moves outside of Ford Smash. It's oh, pretty much man. all off of Gims. Oh my God! Gets, uh, gets meteored while trying the edge guard. Uh, I feel like Indy uh, definitely learned from. Like uh, reading his back airs and stuff, and where he was actually going to place it, I feel like that's what the real cause of him taking that stock right there. We have uh, we have my jam again. Oh, he gets a weak hitbox. He keeps stacking in place. He keeps getting punished hard for it. I really think it would be a lot safer to just, just uh, tech chase back or uh, tech roll back. I mean, it might be some type of even deeper mind game. You might be thinking that. I don't know, Naka might be expecting him to go in a direction and him teching in place might actually be the better option, but he's, mm. it seems like he's tried it one too many times. Uh, Miss bases the back air. Does not hit Kirby. We see this by both characters. Both characters not having extremely strong moves outside of Solar Beam or Up B. And Kirby only having a forward smash. Just seen a lot oh. of offstage play. Pretty much the, these entire sets have been okay, Tether. Both sets have been pretty much determined by. Oh, I just missed it. Have been determined by their offstage play. I believe Ivy has the stronger presence on stage, but once offstage, it's definitely Kirby's ball game. But I don't know. It's still pretty tricky. There Special you go. That's a backer. Especially when Ivy has the down air to stall out. I guess that in itself is kind of a mind game whether you're gonna stall out or not because if you try to contest it you can eat the meteor hit box that you don't expect and it's hard to jump cancel when you don't think you're gonna get hit. My god he's going all around him. Uh not sure what just happened. Some weird <laughs> I seen spot dodges, rolls, rolls and rolls and spot dodge and I can't believe that hit. Oh my god. I I didn't think that that hit in the air. We go into the debug mode after this one. We're looking at the hitbox after this. We got, oh my god. We have Jigglypuff. <laughs> I mean, whenever you get hit by moves like that, it's pretty scary because even if you're at low percent, if you DI out on a stage such as this, you're still you'll, gonna be... you'll die at extremely early percents. I felt like that against SDN's Rob earlier. Like, Rob's combos hit you off stage and like, if you DI in, you get hit by another move, but if you DI out, sometimes you just end up dying. Very right, nice to go on the platform. I have a little higher percent, but this could easily go either way. It's so hard to, it's hard to get Kirby. He has to watch out for back airs. Oh, ledge canceled. Oh, he jumped out of it. I don't, I don't know what that was. Oh, okay. Just standing up smash. Very, oh my God! Very nice. Very nice second hit. Barely nicks Kirby. Wasn't expecting it. Opa, uh, Indy's at tournament point right now. Gets one more and uh, he's taking his tournament. Wonder if he's gonna say any or Ivy though. I wouldn't see why not though. He's having pretty good success with it. I don't know what happened in the first set though. I guess uh, one thing that makes Indy a very good player is he. He seems slow at first when he uh, when he starts, but he adapts incredibly fast. And when he does that, he he completely takes over after that. I do agree entirely. One. 
potentially at a uh, game point right now. And he had pretty good uh, success with Yoshi Story. Let's see if uh, he can handle the Marth. We got the Star Wars we got, hype we on got <laughs> We got Cantina music going on right now. We got Marth Edgeguard. We got Yoshi's forward air. Wavelands off. Another forward air. Oh, nice back, back air. Will he make it? Does he even have a tether? Oh, very he does. nice decision. I think he could have punished Marth harder for that, to be honest, because he got up faster than he did. But, I mean, he's still living. This is Yoshi's. Anything can happen. It's anybody's ball game. Mars up in the air. Mars side guarding. Oh, going in deep. Can he make it? But he oh still my god, make the it. tether. So good. The characters may have changed, but we're still seeing the same type of gameplay. Ooh. The Randy counter of the down one. Yeah, Ivy's down there. Ah, uh, and you're not making much of uh, Naka being above him. Let See, him that's what down. I'm saying. I feel like using um, down B is just crucial sometimes because, I mean, just I, I could say I could say that it, I think it would be much better on a stage such as this because it'll go very high above the platform. I mean, just by touching him when he was up there would have definitely killed him from the top. Like on a stage like Dreamland, you're gonna be hard pressed to ever see Seed Bomb KO. Right. Especially, on, yeah, on, especially on, on Dreamland. On a stage such as this, though, it's definitely possible. It's and then definitely the Ken possible. combo. Nice Ken combo by Naka. Naka is looking very convincing with this three stock lead over Indy. This is exactly what I'm talking about with with Indy. He he starts off slow, starting with a character, and then next thing you know, he's four stocking you. <laughs> it's just. That's just how he is. He, he adapts so quickly. I, Ooh, I really oh. want to see how game two is looking. I agree. It's weird. It's a... Uh, oh, I don't course. know. It's like Indy's figuring out the matchup or something. It's really hard to, to put a nail on it. I'm really interested to see how this game is going to see. Like, just to see how well he adapts. And I'd like to see the Falcon now. There it is. There's the Falcon. Very late game, but we'll see how this works. Uh, Indy does like to go FD with Falcon. He also likes Kiss too as well. So I think I'm pretty sure that's why he went for it. I think uh, Ivysaur has really good uh, stage presence when it has uh, like uh, platforms and everything like that. Get your words out, man. Yeah, we see we see uh, standard Indy starting out a little slow until he builds up momentum and then he just turns into the steam train. Knocking looking really good with his Marth movement. Ooh, we see the and the Raptor oh. boost with. I'm surprised that it was weak. Oh my! What? What? Oh boy! We got aerials on aerials. We got aerials into the stage and the more aerials. Oh. I think a roll on would have killed there, but it doesn't matter. Stock is sealed. He clutches it out, little percent on on Indy, but he's trying to take that back right now. Oh, what? Grab armor is the oh. knee. And that's unfortunate. Knuckle will never let that go. Every time uh, you're under the stage or something, right under the platform, he will n always go for the attempt of using down air. And another down air. Knock again, looking poised to take this one. A little late on the forward smash there. Uh, oh, very, good lord. Very hard. He was trying to get in. But again, another situation where we just got to go out. Nakas is very solid with his Marth. It's all about um. He's just a very good spacious player. Yeah, but like. 
Another player playing too aggressive right now. All right, well, we're on the last game here. <laughs> we got <laughs> game five. We got game five. Ah. Oh. Oh, hits with the late knee. I really thought that he had it there. It seemed like he was inside him, but hit boxes. Oh, he had the back air. I really think he could have got the knee there. Well, another and now sealed stock. Sealed stock only taking 30 percent. Looking like a completely different game with platforms in the mix. It's got to rank some percent now. That's all I really should do right now. Hmm, okay, chain grab. Chain grab. We got back air in the up airs. Definitely see Indy playing a lot more aggressive this match than he was before. Getting a good tech reading on the platform. Knocking with shielding, gets hit off the stage, comes back safely. Ooh. Hopefully he wave dash in place and then F smash. Indy's very known for recovering so freaking high. <laughs> it's a smart, I, in my opinion, it's a pretty smart decision though. I mean, there's not much else you can really do as Falcon, especially in... Especially oh, in, just, oh, the air no, dodge. No, no. Did he tech then air dodge? He might have been mashing it too hard. He might have teched him and instantly got the air dodge. And again, we see Mars Syndrome kicking in where... Get too high, he can't convert. Nice sweet spot. Can't even get hit by the F smash. Comes in with a weak knee. <coughs> we got knee in the grab. We oh got my up, God, air, up air in the in air. He is just on fire right now. Yeah, we're seeing exactly what we were talking about, where he just, he just gets that momentum and he starts rolling. He's at 200% and he's not looking like he wants to give up this stock anytime soon. Well, take Marth game, uh, the first time you played Marth, I mean, you see what happened. Like, just lo losing really bad, and then all of a sudden you just see a completely different character. You know, he's just playing so differently. Not getting too much off of grabs like oh. in the previous games. And he's the eye's pretty on point. Really wants this edge guard. Swatted oh. away, but Naka does not make it to the ledge. Naka's on his last stock of the he tournament. Gets, he gets battlefielded in Project M. I didn't even think that was a thing. Chain grabs. Up chain air. grabs. This platform Me. does not want to let him down. It's not looking very good for for Naka gets to the stage with the high up Ooh, the Randy roll through the F smash. Hmm. Knees off stage to recover. Knees off very, stage. Very good, uh, very good tactics. Alright, we see Naka. He's in there. He really wants He really wants it. We can see the fire come back in him. He fought pretty hard to be resetting the bracket and everything. And here we go. Here we Let's go. See if, um, Last stock scenario. Tournament stock for both players. Final game. Game five. See, Indy just spacing back airs. Plays not want to overcommit against Marth because one grab. Turned into a lot. Does not want to be. Oh able to my race god! He takes it. Oh my god! Naka! That is unreal. Wow. Insane. Comes, comes back. He said he wanted it. He said he didn't reset the bracket for no reason. But Indy did incredibly well, though. Shout out to Indy. Shout out to Naka. Oh, I can't Clutch believe plays. that. Dude. You're so solid. You're so there. <laughs> and that's the ball game. And that's the ball game. Naka getting first, uh, Indy getting second, and uh, Satan's toenails getting third. Uh, what? Uh, what a tournament! All right, guys, I'm gonna be getting off a uh, off a of mic. It was nice commentating that match. This is Jesus signing off. And uh, I'm gonna be leaving too. This is Satan Tono getting off too. See you later, guys.